I got the good shit. I only know how drug dealers act in movies. Hi, it's Tuesday, you're watching Tasty Tuesday, the show where it's Tuesday, I try to make something tasty, sometimes it works. So, I don't want any trouble. We don't need any trouble today. I'm very addicted to binge watching The Office right now and I am definitely gonna do that right after this Tasty Tuesday. I picked a pretty simple recipe out of necessity. So I have this herb garden, an indoor herb garden. I don't know how to take care of plants, but this thing magically grows herbs. I am hashtag blessed with all the herbs. It grows dill, mint, and thyme, and basil, mostly basil, mostly a lot of basil. So much basil that I trim it almost every single day and I can't keep keep up with how much basil it produces. Have I ever made a recipe with basil? No. I don't cook fast enough for how fast this basil grows. I'm telling you I don't want trouble. So this recipe I found, it seems pretty simple and easy and will get rid of most of the basil that I have plucked from my tree before it goes bad in my refrigerator. This was from one day. This was from another day. And more days went bad and I had to throw them away. But So I thought today we'd make a pesto pasta. I've never made pesto before. Um, this sounds really great. It's a recipe for minimalist baker. Sounds easy, simple, knock on wood. Hopefully I'm not foreshadowing comedically into a disaster. Let's make this dish. Step one, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, I don't want any trouble, okay? Do it. Take it out a baking sheet before your oven gets too hot. Five steps ahead of you. Or one, just one. Then we're gonna take our baking sheet and we're gonna line it with parchment paper. Excuse me, I parchment it when I said I wanted it to be easy. Next, we need two cups of cherry tomatoes, which I really hope that this is two cups, but now that I look at it, are you two cups? Oh, you are, wow, that's nice. Hey, how about that? Okay, but first we're gonna rinse them because they came from the dirty store. Oh, now we need to cut all these tomatoes in half. I didn't know that part. Sorry, I would have done that beforehand. I said I didn't want trouble. Cherry tomatoes, halved. So I guess we have to. That's pretty good. Cool. I'm gonna do that 24 times. See you in a second. Okay, we did it. And we're having fun. <laughs> having. Okay. We're gonna arrange these cut side up on this uh, baking sheet that we have prepared. I guess one by one because we like doing things slowly. Just making sure everything is great. We don't want any trouble today. I have to see if Jim proposes to Pam. I'm only on season four and if you spoil anything in the comments, I will destroy you. Now we're going to drizzle them with olive oil. Just like a little California getting out of a drought drizzle. My nizzle for shizzle. Are we allowed to say that? I can't tell if all of these got drizzled on for shizzle, but you know, they're just gonna have to deal with it. I don't want any trouble. Then we're gonna add a pinch each of salt and pepper. Ah, push it. Please get that reference so I don't feel old. A pinch. There's so many pinches. Get salty. <laughs> like Karen after Jim and her broke up. There should be a hashtag justice for Karen. It's not really fair what he did. Again, I'm only on season four, so don't ruin anything for me. But you know, I feel like we've all been a Karen sometimes, and that's fucked up. Did my oven beep at me yet? We're about to pinch the pepper. I'm really not sure if my oven beeped at me yet, and once you miss it, you miss it, you know, so you don't really know. So I'm gonna take a chance, and I'm gonna put these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, or until they're like kind of shriveled on the top. Know what I'm saying? Dog. Cool. While those are cooking, we're gonna take a large pot and bring it, don't bring the pot to a boil, put water in there first, and then bring it to a boil. Speaking of pot, <laughs> cool drug dealer from a movie. Hit me up if you want an ounce or an eight ounce. No, I don't know, forget it. We're also gonna give our water a little salt. Oh, my oven didn't beep at me. Well, now it did, so we'll just leave them in there a little bit longer. Okay, we'll just wait for that to boil so we can make sure that we're doing things correctly. I don't want any trouble. I just don't want any trouble. See you when the water's boiling right now. Okay, our water is boiling now, so we're gonna add the pasta to it. She uses penne pasta, which sounds really nice. Like, I love it with penne pasta. It's like the tube kind where the sauce goes in the middle of the tube and then you bite down all the sauce comes out. It sounds like so good. I didn't get that because I didn't see that she got that kind. So I got this fusilli pasta and the recipe calls for 12 ounces. This is a 16 ounce bag so we're gonna have to use three-fourths of it. Math. We love it. We love math. And I don't even know how to measure three-fourths of that so I'm just gonna kind of guess. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like that. It's like that. Final call. Now we're gonna cook our pasta to package instructions which say seven minutes or until al dente. Oh. Dent, yay. Seven minutes, new timer. 
Our tomatoes are done, hopefully. We're looking for golden brown on the bottom and slightly shriveled. That's what she said about his balls. Why, why do we have to go there? They're definitely slightly shriveled. Are they golden brown on the bottom though? That's the question. Question of the day, of the night, you know. Yes, they are. <gasps> Yay, we, it's fine, everything's good. Thanks tomatoes for being troubleless. Turn off our oven, cause we always forget. We're just waiting for this pasta before moving on to the next step. Are you all dente yet? Dente, I hardly know a. You clicked this video. Nope, not dentage. Once our pasta is ready, which I'm pretty sure it is now, it's like your car after an accident. All dentage. <laughs> Hopefully not, are you okay? File a police report when that happens to you. We're gonna drain our pasta into the sink just by itself. Just kidding, there's a strainer in here. Please don't do that, I don't want any trouble. See, magic. Gonna just like hold your face over it, open up your pores, give yourself a really nice spa treatment. Very cheap, same quality though. Okay, once our pasta is drained, we're gonna put it back in the pot and drizzle it with olive oil to prevent sticking. No one wants sticky nudes. Well, some people might. I won't question your business, but I am judging. Drizzled, are you drizzled? My shizzles? My bizzles? That's a little too much drizzle, but my zizzles. Okay, now the fun part. The fun, easy, simple part that we aren't jinxing ourselves at all with. We're gonna make a pesto sauce using our blender. Just put all these ingredients in this blender. Well, not this blender, use your own blender. Mine's busy. Two cups of basil, fresh from your garden, you green thumb. Kind of packed, semi-packed. I just cut these three leaves on the top. I just cut these off of, real fresh off there, because it wasn't quite two cups, so. Look at that, beautiful. Don't get a big head about it. Make like a basil and leave. Enough clowning around, I don't want any trouble. Four cloves of minced garlic. A fourth cup of these nuts. Pine nuts, if you got them. Oh, I really hope this is a fourth of a cup. These have been in my freezer for a while. If you don't have pine nuts, you can substitute walnuts. Just, you know, any kind of tree nut. Trees nuts! Has anyone ever done that? This is slightly short of a fourth a cup. Maybe I should add like two walnuts. Are we allowed to do that? There. Mostly pine nuts plus three walnuts. Three nuts! It ends here. Pine nuts are really expensive. Here's some bougie nuts. You better be worth it. The juice of one lemon. Light, you need to chill out. Look at the lemons, thank you. These lemons were way too lit. A fourth a cup of this mixture, which I got from the recipe, it's a mixture of cashew nuts, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and salt. Basically, it just has a Parmesan cheese flavor you can use Parmesan cheese instead if you like, however you roll. I actually really like the taste of this. It tastes almost more cheesy than Parmesan. Parmesan, Papa John's. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to make it. And a pinch of sea salt. That's a pinch. Now we're gonna blend this until it's smooth and then we'll make it even smoother. Watch. Are you watching? Do you just do anything I tell you to do? That's nice. Keep watching all of the videos on this channel. Blend till smooth. Okay, now we're just gonna scrape down the sides and I have a fourth a cup of olive oil. Oh my gosh, please don't spill. Thank you. And then we're gonna stream in that fourth a cup of olive oil while it's blending in a moment. Ooh, this smells delicious. Yes, yes, yes. Kinda lemony, but it's okay. I like it. I'm digging it. Stream in. Oops. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so a lot of my oil just kinda got on the top of my blender lid, but that's totally cool. We like it, we love it. We're into it. Are you into this? Okay, now we're just gonna add in a little bit of water just to make it the right consistency. It should be thick, but still pourable. And also, it should be thick, T-H-I-C-C, -C, cause that's very in right now. I added some water. I don't know how much really to add, but you know, we'll work with it. I think that, wow, this is, yes. I think that's, it's ready, maybe. It's very, very, very smooth and blended. Look at this. Look at this. You can paint with this. It's like an acrylic lime green. Delicious. Oh my goodness. So good. Such a great use of basil. Don't tell him I look bad. I think we just assemble now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take a mixing bowl and we're gonna put our pesto and our tomatoes. Why couldn't I think of a name for these? I don't want any trouble. We're gonna put them all in this bowl and we're gonna mix them up. I really hope this works, but if not, hopefully you did the best you could. Pesto could. I could sit here and make it work. 
but I'm not going to because I don't want any trouble. Hello, pasta very drizzled with olive oil. I guess you could have just mixed it in that pot. I didn't think of that. Excuse me, I like washing dishes. Hey, get over here. Oh my gosh, this looks and smells 100% delicious. Holy baloney. So now I'm just gonna serve it. I'm gonna put it on a plate. I'm gonna decorate it with some homegrown Limo Kitchen's finest garnishes and serve it up to the Tasty Tuesday man. See if he likes it. See if he thinks it's tasty. We'll never know. We never know. We've been on a roll lately though. So we'll see what happens. I put it on a plate or in a bowl? I don't know what's best though. It's getting bad. Okay. I'll see you in a sec. Hey, what do we got here? We got a pesto fusilli with some sun-dried tomatoes that I found in the pantry and some basil that's fresh from the garden. That's as much of an Italian accent as I can do. Let's see if it's a tasty. This we looks have... hella authentic, bud. Yay, I garnished it. Presentation. Okay, so I garnished it with sun-dried tomatoes though, which weren't part of the original recipe, so I don't know if you want to eat around that first. Yeah, just I'll try to taste it without first. I want, to, I want to some of this, you know? Some little basil. Try it separately. I wish you had a restaurant and you're like, no, 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 sir, sir. <laughs> well, I want to judge the recipe first and then judge if I added something that made it better or not. Sir, please eat around that. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah? That's hella good. Hell yeah. Okay, now try it with the things I put on it. Yeah, this is very good. Hell yeah. Would you say it's tasty? Absolutely tasty. I want, I want some of this from your garden. There's my garden, by the way. How's that freshness? It's really nice. <laughs> is that Italian? <laughs> no, that's my Gordon Ramsay. Always, oh, oh, okay. It's really nice. But what we have to do. <laughs> Bellissimo. It's really good. Yeah, it's tasty. <laughs> well, let me taste it. Let me tell you if I think it's tasty. And then we can see if Jim and Pam are going to get engaged. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It tastes fresh, you know what I mean? That's so good. It doesn't taste heavy. It's true. It tastes very rich and not heavy at the same time. Yeah, like pasta usually tastes heavy, but this is not heavy. So good. Good toy. Thanks, Garden, for picking that. Do the Gordon clap. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Oh my god, yeah. That was better than me. I'm feeling it. Damn. The thing about acting is don't try. I know. Don't I was try. trying so hard to do the Gordon You're trying class. your ass off, yeah. I know. Take it from me, someone that never tries. I try my ass off. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> this is really tasty. I recommend highly if you have a fresh basil garden that is um, sprouting an abundance of basil. Don't I, brag like it's that. very relatable, okay? This is very <laughs> relatable content here. Make this. It's super good. And even if you don't have a basil garden, I guess you could buy it from the store. You know, like the plebs. <laughs> Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And I will see you next time. I'm trying to put up videos more consistently, especially on Thursdays and Saturdays. Will I do succeed this week? We don't know. So that's why you guys subscribe and put the notifications on. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, but, but I have a question. What? Are, are these fresh ingredients? I'm trying way too hard. No.